Whether you're journeying off to a romantic getaway or going to a long weekend to Nantucket, days before are dedicated to making sure that your luggage is on par. But any seasoned globetrotter knows that the travel outfit that you embark on is just as important as the rest. Striking the right balance can be difficult. If you're anything like me, you want your travel outfits to be as simple and comfortable, but still be polished and chic. In my selection ahead, you'll find the best outfits for long haul travel flights, travel outfits for new moms, and business trips. Your next airport outfit doesn't have to sacrifice style for comfort. Here's the proof. Let's get into it, bitches. Traveling to faraway places is exciting. You can land on another hemisphere, continent, world. <laughs> But the worst thing of it all is when you are in uncomfortable clothing for a long period of time. That's why you should opt for things that are super loose, super stretchy, super comfortable and breathable. If you start sweating and things that you can take off and on in the event that you are getting cold. And these are the things that you want to keep in mind when you are in it for the long haul for a trip. Think elasticated, elasticated, elasticated waistbands, soft fabrics, and buildable cozy layers. When I say soft fabrics, I'm thinking more like alpaca, maybe even wool, depending where you're going, because wool is actually a breathable fabric. It also can keep you warm, but it can also keep you comfortable. Cashmere, cotton, cardigans are a best bet. If I'm in the airport, I'm always cold, so I love to throw over a cardigan because it's the simplest thing. You just literally throw it over and then take it off as you get hot or uncomfortable. And I can hide under it. I can like stretch. I can put my legs on top of my boyfriend. I can do whatever I want and still be comfortable. <laughs> and rest assured that I do that a lot on flights. I'm like literally all over here <laughs> to the point where you don't see him. You can put on your little t-shirt under your cardigan. You can put on bodysuits. For me, I love to wear bodysuits under my cardigan. And then a jogger type of like pant, but a little bit more stylish, not like you're going to the gym. Like for me, I would try and get something a little bit more cashmere-ish type of material, something a little bit more elevated if you don't want to go to that super casual route, but still look stylish and chic. Number those, your beach ready travel outfit. This is the outfit that the minute you're allowed to land to your premier destinations and you see the colors of the waters and you can't wait to throw your butt in there, this is going to be that outfit. Perhaps that dress is gonna take you straight from the airplane. You check in and straight to the beach and you don't have to think about anything else. My type of outfit. This is literally my type of outfit because this is how I love to get dressed because my vacations are centered around the beach because i am a beach fanatic i love the beach so this one is one that i really know very well and that would be a maxi dress a maxi dress i always wear my bathing suit under all i need to do is take out my beach hat wear my sunglasses my beach bag and go straight to the beach once the wiser you look stylish chic you're ready to go you didn't waste no time i'm the type of person that i can be high maintenance but i'm the most laziest high maintenance person i like to have my things ready to go so that i don't dilly dally and waste more time and when it comes to me getting my footsies inside a beach i really don't like to waste any time so i am going to maximize my time and put on my dress that knitted dress that is going to take me straight to the beach. And once I get there, I just take it off and run into the water. Ah! I mean, it doesn't get better than that, right? So you want to think of a maxi dress. Numero tres. The less is more traveler. Relax tailoring. This is for the minimalistic person out there that wants to look chic, but really don't want to give it too much thought. I mean, let's be honest. On your way to a vacation, an all white outfit can look very striking. Go ahead, you're gonna go on vacation. If you have kids, then I will probably opt out not wearing this, but if you're going to go pretty much straight from your home to the airplane to your destination, then you will be okay with white if white is still too scary for you opt for off white colors creamy colors khaki colors beige colors very minimalistic very beautiful very modern very contemporary very chic stylish and comfortable think soft fabrics tailoring type of like maybe slacks but not like your business casual slack more like your relaxed fit with your little t-shirt for me i would wear it maybe with a little crop top 
or even like a bodysuit because I'm comfortable with things like that. It will be a looser type of fit on your pants and therefore you can stretch, you know, turn into a pretzel if you're like me on a long flight and still look uber stylish. I'm approved travel outfit. This is pretty much button down and jeans, but you want to go for a looser fit of jeans. Maybe your mom type of jeans or like a softer fabric type of jeans. Something that you're super comfortable in that is not a restricted, it's not hip hoggers. Maybe it's not necessarily high waisted either where you will be restricted in certain areas. It's just that casual worker B type of denim jean where you feel comfortable wear it with your little bodysuit. You can opt for a white t-shirt. But if you want to take this and elevate it a little bit more and not look too casual, then go ahead and wear it with a button down, more like a casual, relaxed type of button down where it doesn't have so much structure and it'll give you a polished, elegant, if that is your cup of tea, look comfortable. All you need is a little stylish bag, a beautiful little it bag where you can put in all your accoutrements, a little pacifier for your babies, a little biz, whatever have you, mace. And then your little baby on your side and you're good to go. At the end of the day, the mom's outfit is all about practicality. And I salute you for traveling with kids because kids are like no joke. Back to basics. The casual travel outfit and that's just that. A travel casual outfit. Now, it could really fit in any of these categories. I mean, your mom outfit could definitely be casual. And it was a version. The one I talked about was a version of casual. I feel like this is all casual. But if you want your casual staples, like your t-shirt and jeans, you can never go wrong with something like that. If this is your cup of tea, if you're like that girl next door that loves things like this, then opt for the white tee and jeans. There's nothing wrong with that. If this is what you're comfortable in, then that's what counts here. This is what you want to wear for your travel outfit, your denim jeans, and your t-shirt with your flat sandals or kitten heel it just depends what mood i'm in and where i'm traveling to and if like the travel destination actually inspires me that all plays a role for me but don't opt out or don't get scared or think that uh a pair of jeans a good old-fashioned pair of jeans with a t-shirt is uh, it's outdated because something like this i don't feel like it would ever really be outdated ultimo and what is going on with this stay the business class travel outfits this is for my hard working girl bosses well hashtag girl bosses you are a powerhouse girl and you're traveling for business or you want to wear a business outfit because you're in the mood to wear a business outfit and you don't need no rules right the key to wearing your business suit out is just to make it look less businessy in the sense of like try to offer pieces that aren't so structured more relaxed fit so instead of getting something with like padded shoulders perhaps or like very structured shoulders and find something that's more relaxed on the shoulders fabrics plays a big role softer fabrics more lighter linen fabrics perhaps summery type of like fabrics and then change up the colors like lighter colors like a sage color like a minty green color like a heather light gray a dove gray powder blues these are some of the biggest colors that are in for the summer you can go ahead and wear this with chic type of sandals you could even wear this with sneakers like if i was to wear a business suit type of look i would wear it with sneakers and then obviously if it's a business related travel outfit I'm literally going to go to work or a convention or something work related then I will change my shoes when I get there and you have it the next time you're traveling you will know what to wear don't forget to like this video subscribe for more fashion mayhem hit the notification bell so you won't miss out my next video